So you guys wanted to know what it's like to get uh, get ready to basically redo a hub motor. Um, you gotta prep your wire, which I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven strands. Uh, I think if I do it uh, at lengths like this, it should be enough to um, do more than one phase. I can always tie them together, but um, I can see I twist them together after I roll them nice and nice and tight. And then what I'll do is I'll cut it right here, and then the, that'll stay rolled up as I roll it up on a spool to get it ready to um, wind the motor. Same thing with here. I'll cut it here. Um, trying to just going back and forth, trying to get all the debris off the wire, make sure there's no kinks or anything like that. But uh, it's looking good so far. Should be fine for rewiring. I mean, rewinding. Duh. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using a old capacitor because when I'm winding the motor, I can hold it like this and pull. So wrap it around the uh, motor. So you want something you can grab like that and try and wind it in the middle. See, so I got a ways to go. And if it's done properly, it should look like that, basically. I uh, use a little bit of tape just to hold it down until I'm ready to use it. I'll make it as I as I need it. There's a lot here actually. It'll last quite a while through those little through those little poles. So that's 7s seven strands. It, uh, it's pretty much the same. Actually, a little bit thicker than uh, what's in the motor. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Um, so I'm going to put more amps through it. But uh, next will be to take the motor off and I'll go into detail on how to. Um, uh, prep it. We gotta make sure there's seven strands, and how many turns there is per pole, and you know we gotta put tapcon tape all over the damn thing so it doesn't scratch the enamel off the tape, off the wire, and everything else. Yeah, well, the weather isn't getting any better out here, guys. So I figured we'll just pull the wheel off and um, start prepping the stator for some wire. Um, hopefully, I got it right. I um pre-wound the first spool of wire which is um, three strand I mean seven strands uh, and one wind. one wind that does look a little thick we'll see I gotta see what's in the wheel first and uh, count how many um, how many turns per pole it has document all of it because I want to try and get the same winds as uh, same as possible because this one this motor was pretty good it lasted quite a while over voltage. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's get this thing off and uh, start pulling it apart. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using a old capacitor because when I'm winding the motor, I can hold it like this and pull. So wrap it around the uh, motor. So you want something you can grab like that and try and wind it in the middle. So you got a ways to go. Oh, there you go. It is prepped. Um, Managed to get the holes off in one piece. A bit of glue on there. Uh, surprisingly, these fans actually survived all those years. The um, the sealed bearings are a little rough, though, on the side. You can feel it when you spin it. This one doesn't spin very well. No surprise. I mean, this, these things, I don't even know how they survived. Um, I managed to put glue in there. And uh, I guess it was enough to keep the water out. Because, I mean, I rode this thing through water and everything, so... But uh, you can see the difference between the newer ones and this older one. This older one has this older one has um, little pieces of string all the way through it, tying all the all the um, the uh, windings down, which it should have. All of them should have. I don't know why they're not doing it to the newer ones. But um, yeah, she's ready to go. Uh, next will be. There, in each slot there is a little piece of bamboo that you'll have to find something really fine to get in there and pop it out. Pop them all out all the way around and then um, you'll be able to uh, start unwinding the um, the windings and pulling them through the slot. Uh, this is going to be fun because this stuff, my stuff, does look 
considerably thicker than the stuff that's in the motor. Which I'm not complaining. I'll make it fit somehow. <laughs> but, uh, this motor has been through hell all the way along there. You see how it's really shiny? That's where the um, that bit that was floating around on my wheel just cut right into the into the uh, copper. So, I'm looking at it at first. I'm like, ah, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe I'll just leave it. But then when you see ones like that one there, that's brutal. There's at least three or four strands of uh, copper totally cut. So it's only a matter of time before this thing fries. Um, yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna start uh, cutting all this the string off to get the windings ready to pull apart. Hopefully you guys don't have to go through what I'm going through to get this. Um, there, the next step would be to, after you get all the uh, wiring or the string off of the motor, is just little slits of uh, little slits of um, bamboo or plastic that sits inside the groove here and keeps the wire from popping out when it's in motion. And usually you just tap the top of it with a fine screwdriver and it'll slide out and you save it. Unfortunately, on this motor, as you can see, there's a lot of rust and, and uh, crap in there. Uh, each one of them will have to chisel them out. They're not uh, coming out in one piece. So this will be time consuming. Uh, I might even actually take my um, uh, uh, grinder and put a really fine disc on it and open up the slot a bit. We'll see. But um, i got to chisel all these out. So this is going to take a while, guys. That's what I'm talking about. One actually came out in one piece. At least I can use that one as a reference to make some more. And it's just uh, some of the, the old motors used to use a piece of bamboo, which this is, but it rots over time. Um, it doesn't help that I actually painted the motor too, so... Right, at least I got one out. We'll keep that one for reference. Just want to make some more. All that does is it basically, when they're after they finish winding it, they fold over the um, insulator or the paper or the plastic or whatever it is and then they stip, they slide that in to keep the paper and the wire from popping out of the slot in motion which you wouldn't want because it would just bind in person if it was a front motor the person would go right over the handlebars so anyway this is going to take a while this is going to take a long time um, I'm going to end up cutting all the um, the copper and pulling it out and uh, uh, literally chiseling, chiseling the stuff out of the slots and redoing the whole thing. Um, I managed to get uh, five to six turns per pole. So, I managed to get one out anyway for reference. So we'll have to write that down. I'm going to go over the, uh, I'm going to go five or six. So, uh, that's about it guys. Um, like you see the next one, this one should be all cleaned up and ready to go. Maybe even spray painted later. Well, I got bad news guys, this stator is screwed. Uh, I guess this is what happens when you um, have a have one that's about ten, um, well, six or seven years old. Um, half the windings are like it's frozen inside the stator itself and then cut up on both sides and you have to hammer them out and there's rust and everything inside the um, inside the slots. Uh, to make it worse, as I was doing that I took it out of the vise and I'm taking a look at the axle and it's bent. So that's the end of this. And not only is it bent on the axle, it's bent around here. So this thing goes back and forth like that when you spin it. Yeah, it's done. Done like dinner. I mean, I literally, you can see I literally wore the the threads down on the axle. It's so old. And it's been on, on and off a bike so much. It's had a good life. But uh, it's time to recycle this one. Um, what I will do is come spring when we're out of lockdown and uh, when things clear up and there's not a deadly virus around. Uh, I will head out to a bike store or e-bike store and maybe purchase a few dead ones. And uh, we'll uh, do a really nice video on uh, rebuilding. I uh, wish I could have showed you more. I was looking forward to this. But uh, not much I can do when the uh, stator is kaput. Like, I mean, these ones here are the last ones, and I was literally hammering them out so much that I literally broke a flathead screwdriver off inside one of the slots to get it out. And uh, I don't think soaking it's going to help. 
But uh, like I said, it's it's bent now, so that's the end of it. I got that much out of it. Um, I'll probably uh, well, I'll do another unboxing. I'm going to pick up another Walmart special for about two and change. And uh, we'll install that. At least I'll still have dual motor, and then we'll uh, we'll do a we'll do a rewind video in the spring, and uh, well we can test it off the bike anyway, or build another one. See how it goes. Sorry guys, later.